Under the theme, Breaking the Silence, Ministry of Health is spearheading a public awareness campaign about sickle cell. Sickle cell anemia was declared by the World Health Organization in 2008 among the leading silent killer diseases on the African continent. It is estimated that in Uganda, 33,000 babies are born with sickle cell annually and 70 to 80 percent of these die before their fifth birthday. The disease is severe and a fatal disorder. It is a bacterial infection that begins in infancy and increases with growth. State Minister for Primary Health Care, Sarah Opendi, has advised couples intending to marry to test for sickle cell. If positive, she advises them to abandon the marriage plan. Opendi says that the program requires counseling, laboratory tests, advocacy and sickle cell community awareness. She warns traditional healers against claiming to cure sickle cell using traditional medicine. Also here is announcements on radio, I read them in the papers, claiming that they cure sickle cell. And yet we have all heard that sickle cell, there is no cure for the sickle cell disease. I want to inform all of you that we are aware of what has been going on. And this is the reason why I did table in Parliament the Indigenous and Complementary Medicines Bill just about two or three weeks ago. And the whole idea is to ensure that those who claim that they can treat the sickle cell disease and other diseases, we should have their medications or have scientifically tested, proven, certified, and once that has been confirmed, then they can go ahead and advertise. Research experts say Uganda is at a high risk of having many children with pneumococcal bacteria, which causes sickle cell. The sickle cell survey was conducted by Ministry of Health in partnership with research experts from the United States-based Cincinnati Children's Medical Center. Simon Mugisha and Sam Nalwala reporting for UBC News.